What's up then everyone, as you know my name is of course Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today we're doing something a little bit different in the form of a guide on how to use the Gigabyte RGB Fusion software. As you've seen on the channel, I've taken a look at their K9 keyboard, I've taken a look at one of their mice, I've also got their RTX 2080 here, hence there's a third panel here with the picture of all the Gigabyte stuff. Uh, we've also got an X470 Aorus Gaming motherboard and basically I did reviews on all of those items and they've all got Gigabyte's RGB Fusion. And rather than spending 10 minutes in every single one of those videos going over the same software, I thought why don't we just do a single video where we incorporate all of RGB Fusion into one. So here you see, as you can see, here we have the software. This is the main homepage and let's get into what you can actually do with RGB Fusion. Now if you have got added in to this as well things like LED strips they can all be added in and they all basically just come in as extra things either here or if it's LED strips and things they will be showing up as these digital LEDs here and I've just changed the colour of everything else by accident. Now on the home page so this is the main home page and I've accidentally just pressed the wrong button. We'll get that back up. There we go. So on the main home page, okay, it lists your individual items. And uh, if you are on this page and you use any of these settings here, this is the sync mode. So if you want everything to be together, you want to use the sync. So we can just go through uh, just a quick few of these. You've got things like your pulse, your flashing. I really despise flashing and double flashing yeah we'll close that off color cycle if you like to go through all your colors you can set it to work with music random where it sort of swipes across and we get lots of yeah things like that there is a game mode and it will sync up with some games and things like that uh, for some reason it doesn't seem to like that one so we'll open the software again I must admit I have found it to be a little buggy at times but once you've got it set to the way you want it, I've never had any problems. It's just set to auto start. We'll go through how to do that later on. So yeah, like I said, you've gone through your different options for different types of lighting, whether it be static, pulse, flashing, things like that. You do have the color wheel here. So we can set it all to be uh, red or pink or dark blue. He says dark blue. Yeah, um, or you do have a, a few presets for the likes of white and red and orange. Uh, you have a bottom slider by here. This is for your brightness, so you can actually turn it off, or you can select the off button. Yeah, so you can either have it nice and dim, or, or set it to off. I do like the texturing blue sort of thing. Uh, and then what you can also do, now I've shown you how to have it all synced up together, and that basically means that all of the lights in the system on everything will be the same. What you can also do is if we choose, for example, let's take the motherboard. What you can do is with the motherboard, let's set one thing to a different color. You must click your apply button and then you'll now see that the IO shield is no longer blue. That's now coming in at a nice sort of pinky red color. And you can do that for all of the separate things, however you wish. Let's choose another one. Let's set that to be green. And there we go, green. So you can set this up to be a, a rainbow sort of effect, however you want. Then you can also go into, for example, this now we have the keyboard here. The keyboard and the mouse are actually fully addressable as well. And that is per key on the keyboard. And there's 23 zones on the mouse so for example on the keyboard we can select if you press on your control button you can select a few keys let's set the ones that you can actually see so let's choose that row and I don't want that it it, it can be quite fiddly as you can see but we'll just choose those four there set them to a bright blue and that's just these ones here now in blue nothing else on the keyboard has been altered everything else has stayed the same you can only do that on a couple of the options though um, I believe you can do it on the pulse and the ripple and the reactive I don't think you can do it on the wave no on the wave one which is your sort of 
typical sort of swooping motion as we can see. That one, there is no choice. All you can do on that is choose your speed and your brightness. On the other ones, you can actually choose colors. The reactive, I must admit, is quite nice. Um, it sort of just glows when you press a button. Now, if you set it to the fastest reaction, it sort of fades away a quick, bit quicker. Set it to a slower reaction and it takes a long time to dissipate. But I actually do quite like the reactive. Ripple again is the same sort of thing, you press a button and things go off in every direction. Pulse is the same as we did on the static, it just sort of comes and goes. Uh, as I said, mouse, same thing again, you choose what you want. So you choose a logo, you choose a color, you click apply, and there we go. Same again on the graphics card, you've got a couple of different areas on the graphics card. We've got the backplate illumination, which is the Aorus logo. You've got the front logos on the front by here, and you've also got the fans. Now, you can't actually see them, because unfortunately, I did try to vertically mount this GPU so that you guys could see it a bit better for this video, but it didn't like my PCI riser cable for some reason, um, and my expensive one didn't fit this particular case. So, sorry about that one, guys, but you do have fans around the LEDs as well, and you can set them to be all different colors he says but you can go again you've got the same sort of options you've got claw there's yeah again you've got loads of different options for, for it all it, it, there's such a big variety available when you go with RGB now every, some people slate RGB uh, my best way to describe RGB is it's just a choice. Now I actually am a big fan of RGB because I think you can you can decide right today I'm having a blue system or today I'm having I, I'm going to go a bit bold I'm going to go pink for the day or you could just go nah and just turn it all off. It's all up to you. This is the thing with RGB. Now RGB Fusion has had a bad reputation in the past. Um, it conflicted with other programs, it has been g going off with anti-cheat option software, um, it's been well known for that. The biggest bugbear I ever had actually with the RGB Fusion software was that you had to install Asus's sort of software studio in order to get it to work. Well they've scrapped that now, you can actually go straight to the Aorus website and you can download just RGB Fusion on its own as a standalone product that you see here. You do not have to use anybody else's software you do not have to download any other sort of downloader or um, ecosystem or anything like that you just have the RGB fusion software and no it's not perfect uh, no software is perfect regardless of what any manufacturer says they all have their bugs but Gigabyte have constantly been working on this ever since I first tried it and it is doing nothing but get better it's got all the options that all the other one all the other brands have got and the actual the amount of sync that you can do with this is actually quite large. There's a lot of companies now that have sort of worked with Gigabyte to allow their products to work with it as well. So yeah, it's very impressive. And like I say, you've got all the options now. If you're using the motherboard, if you fitted LED strips, I did say earlier, you use these options here for the LEDs. Your LED C1 and C2. These are your LED strips, your standard 5050 RGBs, and these two are your addressables. But I think we pretty much covered it for the RGB or software. Like I say, it's it's still got its bugs. You've seen it's crashed out a couple of times here. I do. Ha I must admit, I have a few other RGB software bits installed on this um, system. I did actually have it running on my test bench, which was a completely fresh install of Windows, and it was completely stable. So it, this is on my system. Pretty much everything installed on it. So yeah, it's probably got some conflicts here and there, but you get that with all of them. So there we go. That's the RGB Fusion software from Gigabyte. It's really simple. I'm going to stick a link as to where you can download this below. This will be the complete standalone option, so you don't have to worry about installing anything else just to get to it. And there we go. That's about it for today, guys. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Not a problem with me. As always, leave any comments, questions, or suggestions in the section down below. I always do my best to come back and answer them. And if you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button, click the little notification bell, and I'm here every Saturday, 6 p.m. British time. And on that note, guys, thank you very much, and bye for now.